Welcome to the Protagonist Pub. My name is Tammy, and this is where characters gather. Welcome to February 2024 Book Club Choice. Um, little housekeeping. Um, I am. I just uh, I, I'm frustrated with the app drama. I'm sorry it spilled over into book club. However, we're moving to Discord. The link is now in my socials. It is on the community tab of YouTube. We should be fine there. I will probably move to Storygraph when that functionality comes out for Storygraph if Discord is a little clumsy. So we will see, but Fable and their drama can, can stay away. Um, I know some of you have asked for the functionality to do voice to text for um, book group. I believe that functionality is available in Discord. It looks like it from my app. If it is not, I apologize. So it is currently Wednesday morning and polling is not complete. So if this changes before Friday night, you'll get a different video. But, so let's go over the choices first before I tell you who won. The roadmap, I'll link that video down below, for February 2024 was read a romance in a unique setting. And obviously what's unique for everybody for a romance is pretty personal. So I chose from my, I chose options based on, you know, unique for me. The first choice, and they're not in order of, I don't remember how they're listed in the poll. So the first choice was Valette by Charlotte Bronte and I have absolutely no recollection of ever hearing about this book, but it was mentioned multiple times in Veiled in Smoke. My review for that will be coming out next week. And I was just intrigued. It's a classic. And that alone makes it a unique setting for me. I know it's available. It's available in my library. It's also available on Kindle Unlimited, I believe. And if it doesn't win for February, I will probably pick it up in February and read it. Assuming my reading mojo stays. The next choice was the other Alcott by Elsie Hooper. So this has very mixed reviews on Goodreads, but I don't trust the Goodreads reviews at all. Um, and this book is incredibly intriguing to me. I will read you the back. There is nothing more complicated than the relationship among sisters and one shared by the Alcott sisters of Concord, Massachusetts was no exception. This inspired Louisa May Alcott as she wrote the classic, her classic novel, Little Women. But while everyone cheers, Joe Mar cheers on Joe Marge, a character based on Louisa herself, Amy is often the least favorite sister. Now is the time to learn the truth about the real Amy, Louisa's sister May. Stylish, outgoing, creative, May Alcott grows up longing to experience the wide world beyond Concord. While her sister Louisa crafts stories, May is a talented and dedicated artist. One who takes lessons in Boston, turns down a marriage proposal from a well-off suitor, and faces scorn for entering what is very much a man's profession. Life for the Alcott family has never been easy. 
So when Louise's Little Women is published, its success eases the financial burdens they have been facing for so many years. Everyone agreed the novel, agrees the novel is charming, but May is struck to the core by the portrayal of the selfish, spoiled Amy March. Is this what her beloved sister really thinks of her? So May embarks on a quest to discover her true identity as an artist and a woman. From Boston to Rome, London and Paris, this brave and determined soul forges an amazing life of her own, making her so much more than merely the other Alcott. A lot of people have read Little Women recently. I'm even considering rereading it because I haven't read it in so long. I know, shocking. Pick yourself up on the floor. This is very high on my list of, I am intrigued and I want to know more books. Next up is Tolkien's Baron and Luthien. And I love this cover. This is even better. I love the back of the death jacket. Sorry for the glare. It's so wintry and beautiful. This is the, um, it is a love story. It, it is his love letter to his wife in essence. And There are illustrations in my copy. I'm very, I'm very much interested in reading this. And as you know, it's the year of Tolkien for me. So it fits right in with that. However, I am not a great Tolkien reader up to this point. It is told in verse. So this will be definitely outside of my comfort zone. It's got commentary. I am looking forward to this. So we shall see. And when I made the roadmap, the next book is the book I had thought of for being outside my comfort zone. That is Aiming for Love by Mary Keneally. This is the first book in the Brides of Hope Mountain series. I love the cover. I just, I love the cover. And why is it outside my comfort zone? I do not, in general, um, enjoy westerns. Don't know why. I'm a western girl. Ah, I'm hoping this one changes my mind. But, yeah. This is a birthday book. I now own the complete series. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And last up was a bonus choice because I can only put four books on a poll on YouTube. And the bonus choice was Shadows of the White City by Jocelyn Green. This is book two in the Windy City Saga. And this tells Sylvie's story. And... Based on the strength of book one, um, yeah, I, I really, really cannot wait to read this book. Um, book one was amazing. There's my preview. It was amazing. What book, as of the filming of this video, has won? And it's been consistently in the lead, so I'm fairly confident I'm good doing this early. And that is Berrien and Luthien by Tolkien. I am pleased. It's very different than what we just read. It is... Not very long. It's 200 and including dictionaries and stuff at the end. Two, less than 300 pages. It'll all let us get some Tolkien experience in for the year. It 
checks a Tolkien book off my list for the year. It's appropriate for the month of love. I am very excited about this book. So I will go and put chapter subheadings on the Discord once so that we can, I, I like the chapter format of Fable app. It was by far the best part of the app for me. It was just easy to, you know, read a chapter and talk about it and, and share thoughts. So I will do that for Discord as well. Um, I hope everyone has a chance to pick this up. And... I am looking forward to this experience. So, that is Book Club for February 2024. Please leave a comment down below, like, and subscribe. And I look forward to talking to you with Discord about the book. I will see you next time at the Protagonist Pub. <laughs>